one moment. morning it is day four on our trip in Xi'an we are off we are up early today and we're off to see the giant wild goose pagoda So we are here at the giant wild goose pagoda. The uh, we've got a diddy down from it down from our hotel, which took about 20 minutes. It was really quick. It's about eight o'clock in the morning, so it wasn't too bad. And it cost us about 28 RMB. We're gonna head. We just managed to get some drone footage, which is pretty cool. Um, so we're gonna go get some tickets and head inside. We've just finished off at the Giant Wild Goose Pagoda. We're gonna head back to the hotel, charge, charge up the drones, get some lunch, and then we're gonna head back out in the evening. back to the room to just freshen up 
and charge the drone, get some blog work done. And it is now the late afternoon, which is meant to be the best time to come and see the city wall. And that's where we are now. We're gonna go and walk around for a bit. You can bicycle around the city wall if you want to. Um, I think it's like 20 RMB uh, to, do, to, to bicycle along, but we're just gonna have a little stroll, watch the sunset, see the lights come on, that type of thing. Zian City Wall. We came upon the South Gate, South, South Gate entrance. There are four main entrances that you can go up. The South Gate, North Gate, East and West. South Gate is probably the best one that a lot of people recommend, mainly because it's open longer, so it stays open till about 10 o'clock at night. But also when you first come up, there's lots of pagodas around and it gives you a really good view of the city and the old parts of the city. So if you don't want to do the full walk around, this is the best part to see. So the city wall goes all the way around the city. You can walk around or you can bicycle around. Um, I think, I believe if you walk around the whole thing, it takes about three, three and a half hours, depending on how fast you walk. Uh, obviously with us and our photography gear, it would probably take about 10 hours, but it's worth doing if you want to have a look at the city from different angles. So we found a local uh, restaurant in Muslim Street. I've just ordered a lamb stew of bread, is the translation, and Callum ordered a uh, bam bang noodles spicy, which I will try because like, you can't laugh at me. drink on the menu was plum juice. Didn't quite anticipate so much plum juice. Really hoping that I like it. Ooh, it's plummy. Mm. It's alright, it's really sweet. I'm sure it'll help with my spicy meal. I ordered a lamb stew um, with bread. So in um, Zian, one of the popular things is you get a piece of bread and you beef it into pieces. This is what they've done it for me. Um, 
you can see got lots of uh, butternut, got some mushrooms, got the lamb pieces, like some really massive chunks of lamb pieces, some noodles in there. I love this type of noodles. Uh, but yeah, it, it looks really hot, so yeah, that's how it goes. They give you like a, a dish of garlic if you want extra garlic in your meal. I'm okay, it tastes good. So Callum ordered a Yang bearing noodles. I've asked for spicy. I am not a spicy person. If anybody knows me, I don't tolerate spice in the slightest. But I thought I would try some on camera so that you can see what it's like. I'm avoiding this area. We couldn't leave Xi'an without trying a Chinese hamburger. Now, my uh, amazing TA at school, Lucia, told me that the best places to go and get food in the Muslim street was the places that had the longest lines. So we found one that has the longest lines. We bought our, bought our ticket things for our hamburgers and now we're waiting. Very excited. They smell amazing. They don't we weren't really in the queue for that long, like 10 minutes. Um, I think it's lamb, uh, like pulled lamb-ish in a kind of like naan jabata bread. Kind of got one with a bit of chilli sauce on it as well, chilli oil. So it should be nice, let's have a go. The bread is so fresh, but the lamb like, it's so tender. I don't know, it's just amazing. I'd like to live off this forever.
So I couldn't have a feast without having dessert. They have ice cream. I'm not gonna pretend I know how they fancy make it. Then mix stuff up, put it on a cold thing, roll it out. Voila! I went for chocolate, obviously. So it's the end of our evening here in Muslim Street, but it's also the end of our time here in Xi'an. I've enjoyed it so much, I can't wait to come back here. It is a beautiful, beautiful city. There is so much to see and so much to do here beyond the Terracotta Warriors. And I loved, I've loved the food here as well. I can't wait to come back and try some more of the food here because it is delicious. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the last few days of, us, of following along with us here in Xi'an and make sure that you subscribe to us if you'd like to see more of our living and travelling in China videos. Bye!